Hey guys, Allison Hagen Irv here, hanging with Dallas Green of City and Color, who's one of my personal favorite artists, I must say. Thanks, Al. You know this already. I appreciate that. You do. So you have been touring incessantly around Little Hell, which came out in 2011, right? Yeah, like uh, almost a year ago. Like, yeah. You put out music, a City and Color, about every three years. Well, You're pretty on it. It was every three years because I was also putting out records with Alexis, Alexis. in between. So I don't think it'll be, it won't be three years before the next record. So tell me more about that. New material. When? Yeah. What's the status? Well, I, I would say that I'm like probably halfway done writing. Hopefully by the end of the summer I'll, I'll be done like putting together all the rest of the songs. And then I'm going to try and try and get into the studio before the end of the year. So you're able to write on the road. Like it's no issue for you or do you well, have to separate it? I, I, I come up with ideas. And okay. then when I get home I'll, I'll like sit in the basement and try and like go through my notebook and, and then try and piece them into a song, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's absolutely. rare that I, I don't know that I've ever written a full song on tour. Well, you're such a prolific songwriter, an amazing songwriter. Congratulations, you won the Juno for a Songwriter of the Year. That is yeah. massive. How did that feel? Uh, you know what, it was it was cool, but the people I was up against were like, just such heavy hitters, like in Canada, like Leslie Feist and Ron Sexsmith, and I don't feel like I won it as much as I'm just sort of holding on to it for the year, and then, you know what I mean, I'm just sort of representing the Canadian Songwriter for the year, that's all. Talented and humble, Dallas. Leave it to you. Yeah. Now, you just mentioned, you know, Lexus on Fire. You guys did officially part ways yes. not too long ago. I'm sure that was very bittersweet for you. Yeah, it was It was really hard. But we're all we're all talking and we're all trying to figure out scheduling so that we can actually play some final shows because mm -hmm. we didn't really tell anybody. So our last show was sort of just like this really big emotional moment for the five of us. We weren't able to sort of share it and be yeah. happy about it. So oh. there will be some closure shows yeah, in the mix. at some point. At some point. You have some shows coming up opening for uh, Abbott Brothers and Death Cab for Cutie. Yeah. That is awesome. Super cool. Like, we know the Death Cab guys. Like, they're they're some of the nicest people I've ever come across. Yeah. And then the Avits, uh, I have not met them yet, but they invited us out to come and play some shows with them out in the Utah and Denver. And they're going to come up and play open for me in Toronto at the Molson Amphitheater. So. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it'll I be like fun. That. One of the things I do love is you often tell your fans, Put the phones away. Yeah. Just chill out, enjoy the moment. Just for one song. I know how fun it is to use your phone and stuff like that, but we're trying to remember it so badly that we're forgetting to experience it while it's happening, you know? So. That's true. As a music fan, are you inspired by anything right now? Uh, I just finished a tour before this with uh, this guy David Bazan opening for me. He used to be in a band called Pedro the Lion, and of then course. he yeah. puts out solo records. And uh, watching Dave play every night was like really, really inspiring made me want to be better at what I do, you know? That's great. Like one day I saw him reading a book and I was like, what are you reading, David? And he says, it's a book called Writing Better Lyrics. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you are reading a book called Writing Better <laughs> Lyrics? And it made yeah. me feel like, I gotta step up my game here. Yeah, I gotta read that book. <laughs> Dallas, thank you, always a pleasure. Thanks, Allison. Guys, for all of your body or coverage, make sure you keep checking back into the Fuse YouTube channel.